we have a contingency of about 50 people here that are educators, parents, administrators, members of music industry, and leaders at both the state, divisional, and national level in music education. We're here to send a signal about the importance of a sequential standards-based music education. And why is that important? Because the bill that we are advocating AB 2862 is a bill to update the standards for music education. So for our students, let me explain what that means. Your curriculum is based on a set of standards, and the last time they updated it was 2001. Could be that some of you weren't even on the earth at that time. But we know that a lot of things have changed since 2001, and it's time to update our curriculum just like they update other subjects. So we're here to create some urgency inside of the Capitol. We can't wait. We can't make the students wait another 15 years. So um, the assembly bill, which focuses on redoing the state's visual and performing arts standards, I think it has real possibility this year. Um, there's a little bit of funding attached to it, but not so much that that should hold it within appropriations. So I'm fairly optimistic that that bill will get through this year. It made it quite far last year until it got uh, what we call in Arizona struck out to carry another bill that had to get through. So I'm, I'm hopeful that it will make it through this year and really looking forward to California revising those standards because they are truly out of date. We're so glad that it was passed at the federal level to be a common core subject and now we just need the state of California to, you know, up the game a little bit um, and uh, that's why we're here. I'm here today because I think that every child deserves a quality education and a quality music education and we don't have equal access in California so I'm here to advocate for that. So this is truly a call to action. And I'm really speaking to the students here. Many of you may not be 18, you might not be able to vote, but it's a call to action to you to call your legislators and increase your grassroots efforts to ask them to pass AB 2862 and SB 916 so that your educators have the tools to make your future bright. And the arts community being in support of each other, um, you know, as theater teachers in the state, you pretty much have to get a credential in English. Um, even teachers who are coming from out of state with, you know, teacher shortages, if they have a credential in theater, we don't even have an equivalent in our state, which is, uh, I think, kind of un unacceptable. So I think it's awesome that we're moving towards that direction. And as an arts community, we should always be supporting each other. So music is a subject that can enrich students' lives and education. It builds imagination and intellectual curiosity. It develops creative thinking, spatial intelligence, and teaches discipline. Beyond that, it builds confidence, emotional intelligence, and helps students stay engaged in schools. Making music takes practice, it takes feeling, talent, and as you all know, teamwork. So I'm honored to introduce to you today a band composed of outstanding students with a long-standing reputation for excellence, the El Camino Eagle Pet Band. We met with um, five people, I don't remember all of their names, um, Senator Wolk, we, we saw some representatives, we had one appointment and we just, a quartet of us went in there, a choral person, two string people and a band person and just kind of gave them a packet and um, told them what we were about and they were very receptive. I really felt that all the people we met with today, we met with about 10 different offices of Assemblymen and Senate. Um, and they were very receptive to talking to us, to finding out why um, this was important. And, um, and so that was really great to be able to just walk in and talk to people who make laws <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a citizen. It felt really great to have our voice heard. Music teachers of parents and families and alumni can also join in. Go to standupformusic.org, learn about it, learn about AB 2862, write your legislatures a letter, visit 
um, send an email, do a phone call, do something where it can make an impact. In my opinion, the overarching message is that every child in this state deserves a full education that includes music and arts. And that is a larger discussion, and that's really why we're here today, to make sure everyone on this capital, in this capital, understands what we now know, that music is one of the key ingredients to a successful outcome in education. In today's ever-challenging and global society, our music students are in high demand in many careers because they know how to practice, work hard, collaborate, create, and ultimately communicate their passion for excellence. Excellence they have learned in choir, band, and orchestra. These are life lessons regardless of whether the student continues music education or not beyond high school. Friends, I want to thank you personally for your advocacy today on behalf of AB 2962 and providing the heart in our students' daily curriculum, music education. Please continue to stand up for music. Your education doesn't just build good musicians, it builds great people. Thank you.